So today we'll be making a cheap version of the Google Lens. If you want to see the demo, I'll put the timestamp in the description. For now, let's check out the basic flow of the app and then we'll check out the code. So first we need to take a photo. That photo will send to a text recognizer, which in turn will give us the text blocks. These text blocks will filter into texts and links. Once we have the links, we'll open these links in the corresponding app or in the browser. Let's check out the code now. So in the app, this is the UI and we have two sections in the UI. One is the one contains the links and the other one will contain the text. Along with that, we have two floating icons. One is to add the notification and one is to open the camera. So in the main activity, we are creating a text recognizer object first. And here we are adding the functionality to the floating buttons. Then we have the device list for links and device list for text. And this is the dispatch intent in which we create an intent to capture a new image. Before that, we create a file and save it values. And then we start the intent for the request date photo. Once we get back the results, we take the bitmap of this image that we have just captured. This bitmap then we pass to text extractor that we have created. What happens in the text extractor is we create an image frame and then use the text recognizer to get the text blocks. Once we have the text blocks, we add all the values to the text list and send it back. Here we filter these text blocks. We extract the texts and the links separately into the list and then we add them to the corresponding list. Once that is done, we take the first link. After adding that to the clipboard, we try to open that link. So in the in the open link, we just check if it already has the HTTP or HTTPS. Then we compare it with the pattern. And after that, we just open an intent to open this URL in the corresponding app. For example, if you are reading this article on Medium, which is 12 questions that will change your life and you have read some 1, 2 or 3 questions and now you have to leave. But you still want to change your life, right? So you open the app, click on the search icon, take a photo and that's it. Now you have those 12 questions in your phone. Now you can still change your life and go wherever you are going. Now for the second example, if your friend is listening to some very cool music and for some reason you are very embarrassed to ask him what song it is. You can just take a photo of the URL and bam, you have the same song in your phone now. So now somebody on the street handed you their visiting card and you are so annoyed that you want their number, you want their email ID and you want to block them. How do you do that? You just take a photo. And there you have you have their number. And you have the email IDs and whatever links were present in the visiting card. And you have this add notification option also so that you can directly open the camera and then open the app to extract the text from wherever you want.